Well, praise the Lord. This is Pastor T.C. Hudgens. Um, it's been on my heart to do a just a little bit of a presentation video to let you know what I'm about, what New Day Christian Center is about. Thousands of you all over the world have been watching our videos, responding to the teaching, uh, talking about how the Word of God is changing your life. Uh, it's such a privilege to hear from you. Uh, we've also posted just recently an, an address where you can write. If you have prayer requests, you know from watching some of our videos that uh, we, as Spirit-filled, Bible-believing, miracle-believing uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord in this church, we believe in miracles. Uh, we uh, believe that God is a healer. We believe in all the power and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We also believe that in Acts chapter 19, verses 11 and 12, that God did special miracles by the Apostle Paul to the point that he was so saturated with the presence and the delivering anointing of the Holy Spirit on his life that they took aprons and handkerchiefs from the clothes that he wore and cut them up, made aprons out of them, and it healed them. And they sent those handkerchiefs out to the sick and the afflicted, and they were healed by the clothes that came in contact with the anointed presence of God on Paul's body. So if you write us, we will send you a prayer cloth. No charge. Just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. And we are getting testimonies of the miracle working power of God from all over the world. Signs, wonders, and miracles are taking place. It's not TC. It's Christ, it's Christ Jesus the healer. It's, uh, it's Bible-based. We want to see God's people set free. We want to see God's people healed. Uh, so feel free to write us. Uh, you'll never hear me ask for a dime. Uh, what you do or don't do is strictly between you and God. The address is there on the front of the screen. Uh, we're here for you. Write us. We will send you a prayer cloth that this whole church uh, has prayed over, has anointed with oil, and we, we keep them where they are saturated in prayer. I always keep... Uh, prayer handkerchiefs in each one of my Bibles. It doesn't matter what Bible I'm carrying. I've got uh, prayer cloths in that Bible. And I pray over them and I, and, I, and I lay hands on them and they are saturated in the presence of God. Uh, so feel free to write us and uh, we'd be very honored to be able to pray for you. Also, I want to say that I believe with all my heart we are in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. The Lord specifically spoke to me and said, I want you to start your last church here in Vickery Meadows. And I remember asking him as I was seeking him in prayer, when he spoke that to me, I asked him, I said, Lord, what do you mean my last church? Because I had pioneered seven, seven other churches, the Lord and I. And I asked him very seriously, I said, are you getting ready to take me home? Because I'm... 62 years old, 63 now, and uh, been a lot of places with the Lord all over the world. Pre I preached and believed God to get into places with the gospel, and it was so, uh, so much warfare. I tell people I had to preach to get out, and I've preached in places where the only restroom was a five-gallon plastic bucket, but the glory of God fell and people got saved. And... Uh, so I've walked some, some dusty places with the Lord. I've walked in some hard places. And I've got scars on my body and scars on my soul from walking with the Lord and, and tripping and failing, but by His grace, getting back up. So I asked him, I said, are you getting ready to take me home? And he said, no, son. He says, I'm so close, close to coming back. You will not have time for me to work through you to raise up another work. And then he called me to this inner city. I'd never pastored an inner city church. Never felt led to go to the inner city. Uh, just by his uh, guidance, uh, the churches that I'd raised up were in uh, middle class or country areas. But here I am in the last days of my life, the last years of my life, when most people are looking to retire. God called Pastor T.C. here. 
in a very crime-ridden, very sick, demonically oppressed area where people, two men have literally been murdered 10 feet away from the door of our church three days after I witnessed to both of them. So we are here in the throat of the dragon by the obedience of God, seeing miracles. We don't have much time left. God has placed it on my heart to go where no one else wants to go. To show Jesus where Jesus is least seen. To get on the forefront of battle. And he has anointed me with a gift and a curse to be loud when everybody else wants me to be quiet. To proclaim with boldness when everybody else wants to serve the word of God with political correctness and in acceptance. I can't do that. I have to be what God's called me to be. He's called me here for battle. He's called me here to fight and break the chains off of people that cannot free themselves. I ask you to pray with us that he would cause me to continue to preach boldly as I should and not draw back. Jesus is at the door I am here for the bound, for the sick, for the oppressed. I am here as a last day voice. Many years as a pastor, many years as a pastor teacher, started out as a tent preacher. Now, after several years of dragging my heels, the Lord has pretty much forced me to admit the prophetic call on my life. I'm here as a prophet of God. I'm here to say what I know God is telling me in my heart. Many won't want to hear it. Many have not wanted to hear it. But I must do what God's called me to do. I must preach what God's called me to preach. I must say what the Spirit of the Lord commands me to say. We're out of time. I'm called to wake people up, to sound the alarm, the day of the Lord's at hand. I know mo most people won't want to hear that, but the remnant, the ones that do hear it, we're here for you. I love you. That's what this ministry is all about. That is what I live for. That is what I'm here for. I ask for one thing from you, that you pray for us that you lift us in intercessory prayer, that I stay bold as I'm supposed to be, and that I stand and I do not get weary, that my voice sounds true, that my heart stays true, that the word is heard true and clear and sound. Pray for us, those that have ears to receive from this ministry. I hope we continue to be a blessing to you. God bless you. Our prayers are with you. Go in the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen.